Hello and good afternoon and welcome to this video tutorial on how we can leverage Wireshark, the packet capture utility, which is available for free online. You can download it for free. But this is how you can use Wireshark to actually display a Telnet Sessions password in clear text. I was recently having a conversation with a learner who was new to the networking field uh, and new to IT in general and wanted to know why they always hear that you should not use Telnet, that you should use an application like SSH. And so I was explaining to them that in Telnet, the password is actually communicated uh, in clear text. And you can actually capture and view those frames right in the Wireshark ac um, application. So let's go ahead, let's kick off a trace here. So I'm basically just going to Telnet between two routers. I am doing a span session on my Cisco Catalyst, I believe it's a 3750 switch. You can see we've got uh, some EIGRP activity, OSPF, all kinds of stuff going on here, ICMP v6. So let's jump onto our routers and let me exit off here. So I'm on router 7 right now and I'm simply going to say Telnet to 192.168.55.10. My username is Travis, the password is capital ABC, and there you go. So let's come back over here, let me stop the capture, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of this Telnet data here. And you can see it looked like the, we've got quite a bit here, so let's, I guess we'll jump in the middle here and see what we can find. And actually, pretty fortuitous. So what was the data? Well, it gave the password prompt, right? I just simply double clicked on that frame. So frame 167 gave the password prompt. Well, you know what comes after the password prompt? It's the user password. So let's come down to this Telnet data here. This is going to be frame 173. And I'm anticipating that as we scroll down to see what was here, take a look at that the letter A. So right after the password prompt, really all you would have to do is locate the password prompt, uh, the frame in which that was the data that was being exchanged in the Telnet session, and what follows is a capital A, and then we should see a capital B, and there it is, and then we should see a capital C here, and there you go. That is the password that was typed in as we did the Telnet session. Uh, so again, a pretty quick little video here, but just really kind of trying to drive home why you would not want to use Telnet on your network. Because if somebody is running a pack capture uh, software of some kind, or uh, if you've got someone that's not supposed to be on your network uh, that's connected in running a pack sh packet sniffer, uh, application of some kind, and you've got Telnet enabled on your network, this is how easy it would be to get the password uh, to jump over to the router. Uh, and in fact, let's see if the enable password would show up as well. So let me kick this off again. Let's see what happens, because I'm Telneted onto the router, so if I did the enable password here, and actually I don't believe there is an enable password. Yeah, there's no password set, so I would actually have to go back and set that. So we'll leave it here, but again, uh, very, very important that you do not use Telnet in your network. You should definitely be using SSH, and we just saw why. You can see the password 100% uh, in clear text right there for anybody to grab. All right, well, hopefully you download the uh, Wireshark Packet Tracer or the, the Wireshark Packet Capture uh, application. Again, it's free, absolutely fantastic, and best of luck to you out there on the wire. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.